dropping the energy too. Okay, cause period. If, if if you ain't giving off good energy, what is you giving? You feel me? I don't want it. You hear me? So that's, that's <laughs> what I try to do all day, every day. Okay, get it up off me. Get it up off me. You feel me? Hell yeah, man. How you been? You look like you've been doing good. I've been saying you traveling a lot. Man, I've been doing so much. I'm so blessed. First of all, like I've been doing so much in a little period of time and it's happening so fast that I'm just like trying to catch up with it. You know what I mean? Like, but trying to overall, adapt to everything. I'm grateful as hell, man. I'm so grateful Bless. for everything for real. Shit been going in my favor or whatever, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey, when you work for it, hey, that's how it is. You hear me? It hit different too. Especially when we come from where we from, no, period. Second off, you know what I'm saying? Especially with well, me personally, you know, parental support was there, but it, it was a choice if you wanted to do certain shit or if you, you know what I'm saying, wanted to finish school and little shit like that. But I don't know. When you beat the odds, though, shit. It feel know, amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Period. It's a good feeling. Man. I see you. Shine. Shine bright, man. I see you. You hear me? Yes. Period. Always. So we so we finna get into this. He said, you finna get into that? <laughs> he couldn't wait. <laughs> my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Hit me you with me? the sauce. Okay, okay. Hit me with the sauce. You hear me? <laughs> he said my favorite part. All right. So so Jay, sis, tell everybody where you grow up at. Okay. Um, I'm I'm from the SAG, you know. Um, I I was raised on two different sides of town, to be honest. In the woods, you know what I'm saying? I stayed with my grandma. That's my second mom, R.I.P., you know what I'm saying? Shout out her. Rest yes, in heaven. Yes, You know what I'm saying? She, I was on Elmwood. I was in the woods, or, you know, from the woods that lead to Southside. My last name, Black. So, like, I, it just ring, you know what I'm saying, from uptown, all of that. So, I just, from the woods, all the, you know, all the way to downtown, that's just where I grew up at. And that's where it's still at there. Shit, that's where I go. Every time I go to Saginaw, I'm in the woods. You know what I'm saying? You see me ride by all of them. Definitely. But, Definitely. Um, yeah. Shout out, shout out to your, um, your grandma and shit, man. For real, yes, man. Yes, hey, yes. I just wanted to say she definitely proud of you, sis. Yes, yes, man. It's crazy because I literally, um, well, I wasn't even supposed to put this out there, but I'm dropping my first video in the next couple of weeks, but I got some footage yeah. at um, yeah. his funeral. Yeah, so I was at the Barclays Center, and it was a private funeral for him, but, nigga, I got to witness history in my face, and it was crazy. Like, all the Rough Riders was out there. All the, all the biker boys. Man, it was so n crazy, nigga. Listen, and I got to FaceTime my grandmother, you know, with COVID and all of that going on, and, you know what I'm saying? It literally, I had, like, a piece of, like, the industry. Like, I'm dealing with all this, you know what I'm saying, life and I still had to suck it up and go back to work and act like nothing was going on. So it was like, man, this is the type of shit they deal with all the time, every day. You're strong, you know man. Saying? It's like, man, but strong, you man. gotta keep going no matter what life throw at you, period. Like, you just gotta keep, you can't quit. And that's that's the slay way. That's me. That's the movement I'm pushing all day, every day, no matter what. So, you know, you just keep going. You don't quit. 1,000, 1,000. So how was your childhood growing up? My childhood? I had an okay childhood. You know what I'm saying? I was blessed. You know, I ain't have it all. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, I ain't had a silver spoon, man. Da -da -da -da. I, I started braiding fifth grade because we was the first. Family. Yeah, me, my sister, my cousin Mercedes, we was the first mixed kids in our family. So they never Damn. had black kids. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't That's know crazy. what to do with our hair. They ain't know what to you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, uh uh, they ain't finna have me at school looking crazy. I gotta learn how to braid. I gotta Walk learn how to air. Up. Okay. Sending you to school looking like one of the daughters off Little House in the Prairie. One of them, no. <laughs> like, and I played basketball. So, like, we had a little squad at South. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I cared about my rep, you know what I'm saying? How I looked it. So, nigga, I was on the bleachers braiding. Up. I got my first $10. Doing some hair. Oh, it was over. It was over. Straight up. I <laughs> can't tell you it shit. It was over with. The lit nigga, the light bulb turned on. Okay. It was like, oh, that's yeah. what's up. You got a gift. Use your hand, sis. Like, use your hand. So it was, it was up ever since then. 
It was, it's man, nice love the work ethic, man. Definitely keep it up, man. You, hey, the sky the limit. It, it, hey, it ain't no telling where you could go. You hear me? Okay, and that's what I say too. Like, if you believe in yourself, it ain't people go believe in you. you Listen, right. you, you believe in yourself, they go believe in you because it all start with you. Ain't nobody go believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Right. Facts. Every, hey, everything starts with you. Even even changing the world, it starts with you. You feel me? Right, period. Everything. Like, everybody out here, all of us, we do this to each other. Everybody doing this to each other. You feel me? Right. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hell yeah. I, hey, so you said you've been doing her since the fifth grade? No, yes, yeah, since the fifth grade. And, that's, um, that's... Somebody who inspired me is her name's Shanta. You you might know her. Um Shanta Agnew. You know, um Maisha Agnew, older sister. You know Maisha. I don't know. Okay, so um she does a lot of um they from Saginaw. Maisha Agnew is T Grizzly baby mama. What? Yeah, um, so her older sister, she actually was the very first person who flat ironed my hair. And made me see what? the true length of my hair, nigga. And I felt like Rapunzel in the fifth grade, nigga. I'm like, hold on, I got inches. I got real inches. Hold on, these bitches can't fuck with me in the fifth grade. Yo, uh, boy, it was over. I'm, I'm feeling myself at fifth grade. That's how I, it's know over. I had a fetish for hair. Like, I had a fetish for hair because, nigga, I kept going to the bathroom for no reason. I'm like, my hair is so long. I got longer hair than everybody. I was so happy. Like, I was... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, bro, I'm doing my hair. I need my hair done all kind of ways. I love changing my hair. Like, I don't know. It's a girl thing. You probably hey, no, know. ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, it's everybody got their thing. Everybody got their thing, man. <laughs> hey, I ain't knocking it. Hey, definitely ain't not knocking it, man. I salute. Right. Period. Was doing hair your first trade? Like the first thing you ever wanted to do? Yeah. Yeah, I had um I was really inspired because it was quick money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could just braid your cup, your know, hair, and it, I, it didn't seem like work to me. So I'm like, of course I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. I end up getting um pregnant at 17, okay. and when I got pregnant, my senior it was my senior year in high school, and I went into um the medical field because I felt okay. like that was like a a quicker way to get money guaranteed because i'm like okay hair ain't gonna do it for the rest of my life let me just you know what i'm saying try to get a job and try to do it the right way and da -da -da -da. so you know i did what i had to do to jump in that bag you know what i'm saying for a minute and then you know the entre the mompreneurship got activated instantly you know what I'm saying? definitely i'm not gonna help nobody build their dream i got my own so i was just like hey. how you gonna do this slave it's just you you know what i'm saying like her daddy been um incarcerated almost all her life so i had to wear the pants you know what i'm saying yeah it's oh, a I big role i still am to this day so it's like salute to man it. for real not to let her feel it yeah not to let her feel it so i'm like i gotta go hard this ain't for play bro you gotta get out here you gotta go eat so same you know, man by any means so you know i just been definitely <laughs> i swear to god listen i'm i'm Two foot in this shit. I don't even be in the street. Motherfuckers know I'm I'm in this bitch in the in the house rain down interviews. Fuck that. Period. I got kids. My motherfucking kids look up to me. I gotta set an example. Yeah. It ain't even about what everybody else doing. Cause when the years go by, what the fuck I got for my kids? That's what matter. You feel me? And then you know, you you your kids first teacher. You know, they Definitely. look up to you. I I know my daughter watch and see every, she watch look, she watching me right now. She said, You doing the interview? I wanna see, I wanna see how the business goes. Cause she she's such a sponge. She wanna hear what I'm saying. Shout out to look, little mama, look, shout out to yeah, this my best friend, period. Shout out to little she's mama. She's always with me. Listen, and that's exactly what she said. We listen, we just got out got done eating. We out to eat. I said, I'm gonna do this little interview, baby. She like, I wanna be right there. And you can't be, because I want you to see that you can do and be whatever you want to be. be. Anything you put your mind to, I don't care what it is. If you want to sell glasses, Jordans, what dreams, I don't care what it is. Like, you can do it. <laughs> if you think about it, bro, if you put your mind to it, meditate it, it's yours. Like, it's it's all in your head. You got the power. It's all in your thought system. And, you know, I'm pressing that every day. 
and minds, you know. And I encourage everybody to be doing that because it's only right. One thousand, one thousand. So when a motherfucker hit you up, what's the least favorite hairstyle you like doing? Something that's um the most time consuming. Like I hate doing like micros and braids that's just little. Them because... bitches take forever. My mama used to get them bitches ten hours. <laughs> Hey, like, she, no, she'll be getting them no, bitches no. for like 10 hours. Nigga, no, I don't do them, nigga. I don't even know how to do them like that. I lie quick as hell. <laughs> no, Man. <laughs> no, but that is my least, though, because, like, no, I like quick slaves. I could get you in. No, I need, you know what I'm saying? I'm used to seven, eight people a day, you know what I'm saying, sometimes. So I'm going to have to do something that's quick, an hour, two hour tops. Get you in and out, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. I got too much going on to be trying to be giving you all my day on some little grades <laughs> that you uh uh. No, I'm not gonna do that. What hairstyle? What's the hairstyle you perform the most? I perform the most. I would say um my box braids, but my large box braids. And if you go on my page. I got so many. I do every color. Like, I feel like that's my, like, unique trend. And um, only because I'm real, like, bold, funky. I love colors. I like being loud, and I like to stick out. And, One thousand. Um, I like to be different and unique, too. I don't like nobody looking like me. Period. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I like being <laughs> one of one, period. Because, like, I don't know. I just... Who want to look like there. somebody? You said what? <laughs> I said, like, who the fuck just want to look exactly. like somebody? Exactly. I don't want to walk in the club and be like, why did she got my dress on? Like, I look better than her in the dress. No, I don't want to look like that. <laughs> so when it comes to hair and braid, I just try to switch it up. Like, I don't know, the best, like, quick. Or I just try to colors. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do green or pink or, you know. I just like being fun and different. I don't know. That's cool, man. Hey, that's a cool thing, sis. For sure. When did you notice you real deal had skills at this? When you got paid, first time you got paid for it? Um, I would have to say, yeah, well, it took me a long time to go to hair school to get licensed for it, right? Before I really took it serious. Um, I ain't really take it serious till about like two years ago. Only no, because sure. it was like, girl, you I'm seeing everybody get their shops and everybody do this and do this and do that. But it's like they wasn't doing it the right way. And when I mean the right way, like they was just doing it without being licensed, doing this with all this and that. And see, I have a lot of haters. So a lot of people was, oh, she doing hair out her house. Y'all reporting it to the state. Y'all doing this, y'all doing that. So I'm like, oh, if y'all bitches hating on me this much, then I got to be doing something right. Well, let me go get all the way legit. Let me just go get all the way okay so a bitch can't come for me in no motherfucking way because people, women, it's just instead of like empowering and encouraging and doing the things that we supposed to be doing, they hate and they be jealous and envious even if they don't know you. And it's so sick and sad, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. You know, I pray and wish everybody well. I don't got a hate bone in my body. I don't. Because of the tragic things I face every day. I be dealing with real life stuff to be you know what i'm saying engaged or give any small thing my my good energy so i kind of just be like man if you if like when i be looking at hey or because you recognize it quick you know you could read people and it's like man if she if she would have put all that energy into something like a business she would be rich right now uh -huh. you know what i'm saying how she be on facebook doing this and that if she did that toward a business or invested she would be a billionaire right now but like i wish she could see that you know what i mean but I'll be definitely. like, slay. everybody don't think like you. No, everybody they don't. don't think like me. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be like, man, but I, I I pray for them. Trust me, I do pray you bitches thought like me. For real. Because, <laughs> no, it's some real shit. Because, listen, it'll be, man, I can't tell you how many times I done been to Saginaw and everybody still doing the same stuff I was doing 10 years ago. Five, That's why I got the I fuck out of there. Man. Like, I'm like, man, it'd be cool because, like, when I go to Saginaw, I'll be feeling like I could be myself, like my old, cool, laid back self. But, like, when I'm gone, it's work, work, don't stop, work, work, don't stop. But it's like, I get a little home, ain't nothing like home, you know that, ain't nothing like home, 
Yeah, no. How bad it is? Okay, what the fuck happened out there? Always gonna go back. It's it's home. Like I love home, but it's like, come on now. When is it enough gonna be enough? When you know what I'm saying? When is when is the real battery gonna get activated in your back? Like I deserve more than this. It's 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 paradise out there. It's palm trees. It's views. My kids need to see. You know what I'm saying? This they need to go to this hit man i want my daughter to see every state you know what i'm saying i want her to go to every museum in the world i want her to be like man my mom took me here she did this she did that you know she man i want her to have something to stay when they say tell me about your mom how did she influence you you know like like if you if parents stopped today and said what do what can your child say that you do not that influence them to you know to be better what can you say right now bro people would be stuck Cause nigga, cause what is you doing right now, nigga? <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, nigga, what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna make it count forever, nigga. You know what I'm Facts. saying? What I'm doing today, I don't sleep, bro. Like, I don't have sleepless nights. You know what I'm saying? I don't be sleeping, bro. Like for real, cause I be too busy thinking, like, what am I gonna do tomorrow to make Facts. it better for her? Same. You know what I'm saying? Better for Same. me. Like, I want to be a better mom, friend. You know what I'm saying? Daughter to my mama. Like, I just want to be a better person for everybody. So, I don't know. That's real as fuck. Hey. Like I be, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a human, bro. I'm a Martian. I, I done came to reality like I'm, I I belong somewhere else for real. Because they don't make them like me no more. Like, on some real fucking shit, they don't. But it is what it is. On some real shit, though. You said you, you was trying to be a better person for everybody. That's the best gift you could have. You feel me? Right. Because everybody ain't like that. Right. Hey, I'm the same way. I want to be a better me for everybody around me so they can eat too. You feel me? Exactly. So I can put everybody in position. It ain't about, it ain't really about us. It's about the people that we care about. Them. You know what I mean? Facts. Facts. I totally yeah. agree. What's the biggest life lesson you learned? Um. The biggest life lesson would be um, trusting, like, and having faith in the picture, in the bigger picture when you don't see it right away, right? Uh -huh. Because we know the top is there, right? It's been there. It's always going to be there. But it's just trusting the process is hard when you're going through pain. When you going, when you got everything coming at you, you got haters, you got people saying that, you know, you're not good enough or you, maybe you're not making enough or, you know, maybe things just ain't adding up for you. But that faith, having faith is everything, nigga. Like, no I be so like, let me tell you where my head at. So every time I go to the grocery store, right, I know for a fact I'm going to have a front row parking. And nine times out of ten, somebody pulling out, right, when I pull up, or it's a front row parking spot ready for me when uh -huh. I pull up, nigga. But that's because I've trained my mind to think like that, you know? Like, I already know, like, I train not to worry. Key things, my three things I live by every day. Don't worry, don't weep, and count it all joy. Them the three things. Why? Worry, worry is not from God. It's not. I'm I'm very spiritual. I do my thing. Listen, I do the worst, nigga. I don't care what anybody call it, nigga, but I'm a believer first. I am. You know what I'm saying? And That's what's up. I done been through so much stuff that it's like, why? you know what I'm saying? I have no choice but to believe, nigga. He done did too much for me, around me, and got me out of too many situations for me. To not so I just, I mean, just like everybody, I be dealing with my flesh. You know what I'm saying? Every day. Everybody. But you know, I'm a growing, praying, God fearing woman every day, and I'm not perfect, so it is what it's gonna be. But Definitely. man, you put your faith to work, you could be president, nigga. What you up. Doing? Like, you could do anything if you just believe. Real shit. Easy. That's all it takes. You gotta believe and run with that shit and really do it. You feel me? You gotta believe and really, really wanna want wanna change. You feel me? Thanks. That's real ass shit. Name a big obstacle you had to overcome <laughs> to get where you at right now. Okay. Um, 
So um let's get deep. Let's get deep. Let's get deep. Okay, so I ain't never get deep, man. We don't miss the go TV. You better get deep. Yes, listen, I am because listen, don't nobody know. We want to know thinking like I just be traveling around the world, I just be living my best life, but it comes with struggle, right? Struggle is behind it, right? So how about I tell everybody I lost it all one time, right? My house got raided. I was in a toxic situation. You know what I'm saying? Me and my daughter literally was living in Best Western for two months. And I started from the ground up, right? So to my family and my friends, they think everything's cool. I'm still in my house whole time. It's Hurricane Katrina. You know what I'm saying? Everything just going down, right? And I had to, I had to test my faith. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you got a kid. Is you going to keep trusting in me or keep trusting yourself? And I literally had to, like, I was in a place to where I felt like I needed, like, I didn't need a man, but, like, I wanted a man. You know what I'm saying? I felt incomplete as fuck. Because everybody, like, when you a parent, y'all want y'all happy home. Y'all, you know, the mama, the, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants their family to work out, but that wasn't the case for me. So I had to put my big girl pants on, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I was working seven days a week, third shift at the plant, and every other day, I was the train, right? I wasn't getting no sleep. I'm busting my ass paying almost, What's up, Sam? Almost like um $600 a week at the hotel, right? So I got the money, but it's just like credit, all that shit was just weird. It wasn't going in my favor or whatever, man. And then um, it was like a little before Christmas, right? Before we got our crib. And I was like, man, Lord, I just want my daughter to be in the crib for Christmas. I just want to put up a Christmas tree. Just do that for me. And I just pray. And I've never been really sincere because like, I never really like knew how, how to pray. But I was like, let me just try it. You know what I'm saying? Let me just see if it's how they say it is. When I say I got a proof of this apartment, nigga, like, within seven days from when I did that, I said, oh, yeah, he real. <laughs> oh, yeah, he real. What he be real. Like, it, everything what was unfolding because it was like I was trusting him more. You know what I'm saying? And not going off my own understanding. And I was just, like, really giving it to him. And, like... It started hitting different because I'm like, okay. I never really gave nothing control. I'm used to always having control. I'm always trying to figure it out myself. But now I'm at the place like, girl, you can't figure everything out. It's not up to you to figure it out, bro. Give it to him. This somebody who want, you know, we don't like depending on nobody, not for a ride, not for food. Not 1, for us, we just want to figure it out. But hey, hey, man. You hear me? Hey, okay. man. Sis. Well, you hear me? Wrong, depending on okay. So I'm like, man, don't nobody know that this is between me and God. You know what I'm saying? This is between me and I'm looking at him like a whole person. Because, like, this, my husband, my friend, my, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So I'm like, okay, let me try to, it worked. That's never, what's up. Never failing. And I haven't gone without ever since. So it's Hey, that's what's up. So you just got to believe, man, and trust. That's all. Facts. 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 You know, he's still working on me. I got a little ratchetness in me that I need to... Hey, everybody do. <laughs> everybody do. Hey, we all ratchet in the way. <laughs> it's the <laughs> second all in me, I'm dead. Hey, you can't take the hood if I'm listening, I swear. Yo, I was For real. New York, they like, where is you from? Yo, where is you from? I'm like, Michigan. <laughs> they like, I can tell. I can tell. They want me to be from Detroit so bad. Nigga, no, I, nigga. I'm from <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. That's so funny. So, at what age did you jump off the porch? Um, I would say hustle game in the street. Oh, yeah, I was I was fifth grade, nigga. Fifth grade, what what was he? 10, 11? It was old. Damn. But yeah, the grind got planted to me early, but you know, my grandma. She actually was the neighborhood goat. She sold tamales. She had me at okay. four in the morning. I was eight, nine years old, four in the morning, making masa for tamales early. Nigga, I was in the fields with the migrant workers from Texas in the sugar beet. So I've been that's planted in me early. You know what I'm saying? People don't know that about me. I was with 
working with the migrant workers in the field. So all that corn and shit y'all eating. Yeah, it was because of us, because our people, mother. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah. We whoa. <laughs> she talking spicy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, talking spicy. Y'all yeah, better think this. With the long sleeve and the sombrero, nigga, no real shit. You know what I'm saying? They got to put some respect on my shit, nigga, no, period. No, I was really respect. out there. Salute. For real though, but I'm just talking shit, but no, oh, I talk just, your shit. Talk your shit, man. Know. Talk your shit. People Fuck that. Talk your shit. shit. I've been, I've been getting mine. Shit. I, I done paid for all my own school clothes. All, okay. Like, eight, nine, all of that shit since I was a younger than her. And the kid, our kids okay. don't understand. Like, nigga, like, bro, y'all don't know how we had it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got it good as hell now. Like as hell. It's way more new technology now. It's way more. Some I miss my damn chirp. Shit, I wish we I could chirp all my friends again. And look, look. <laughs> <laughs> them bitches was the shit. Them boots. I had a uh, boost. I seven twenty. Nigga, I had yellow the, and black uh, one. The five thirty. Nigga, I had the yellow and black. <laughs> the blue, the blue. <laughs> what she talking about? What is that, nigga? I had the next. Oh, tail. I had the next tail. Don't Take them back. Take away <laughs> back. To bring them bitches back. For Hell real, yeah. be so hype. They would sell out for real. Let me Hell find yeah. out. <laughs> for real. That should have so, been. Me. Growing up, who are some people you looked up to? Um growing up, some people I looked up to. Um, one of my aunties. Her name is Shadena. Shadena Black. And my auntie, listen. She flew all over the world. Two of my aunties, Olga Pilar and um, Shadana Black. Now, listen, I always said I wanted to be the rich auntie who lived out of town, right? So that all my nieces and nephews or all my family could be like, I'm going to go to Jazz House and we finna, we finna fly out there. Like, I always said I wanted to be the rich auntie that was cute with no kids, right? But I ended up having one. So I was like, okay, one is okay. I'll just spoil her. I already, I already knew I was going to have a girl. I was like, I'll just spoil her. Da, 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 da. And then I can still be the rich auntie. Like, I already had it in my head when I was young. And my auntie, like, she did everything that I always wanted to do. She worked at a hair store. She traveled the world. She always had all the nice cars. She always had money. She, You know what I'm saying? I was just like, I, whatever the fuck she doing, when I get older, bro, I'm doing that shit. I don't give a fuck what it is. Because she was always Real shit. She would come, bro. Always got the gifts for me. Always pulling up to grandma's house with all the hair and these clothes. Jewelry, bro, like. Wait, like I can't. Whatever you doing, nigga, I'm doing it, nigga. When I get older, <laughs> facts, facts, like, and I just, I don't know, like, just ran with that shit for real. And I also had like, I got some older friends. Like all my friends are literally like four to five years older than me. So like, I'm in middle school, high, like elementary, middle school. They all already in like middle school, high school, right? Because my sisters are older than us. I was, I grew up in a family of twelve. Damn. A lot of kids. The young, How many I'm brothers the and sisters girl. was it? I'm the youngest girl. So it's six to six. Damn. Um, and I'm the youngest girl. Yeah, because my okay. mom married my stepdad when I was six months. So it's like we half and half, but we was all in the same house at one time. And um, it was just like a lot of emotions, kids, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot going on in the house. Like we was in a three bedroom. So nigga. You are it was going dog. Back. Nigga, it was Backyard crazy. wrestling nigga, type was, shit. Exactly. You ain't my daddy. You ain't my real brother. You ain't my cousin. Nigga, it was all of that going down in the house. <laughs> 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 nigga. Y'all hearing it first. Y'all hearing it first. Nigga, listen. It, it went down. I love my family, though. Like, we so strong. We stronger than ever now. But, man, growing up, it was tough. It was tough. It, it was tough. I'm just gonna say that. Especially I'm I'm the youngest girl. Nigga, they blamed everything on me, nigga. Put everything on me, nigga. I gotta get everything for them, nigga. And it was just like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was older. But it's like when I got older, I'm doing hair, I become like this little baby goat. Everybody wanna be around me. I'm getting invited to everything. I, I bring this energy at a young age and it's like, y'all wanna be my friend? You know what I'm saying? And I, I started getting friends that was older than me, and I'm just like, dang. All my friends is bosses. 
they all got cribs, they all got cars before me, you know what I'm saying? It's like they was molding me to do what the things that they was fucking up on, you know what I'm saying? So I, I could curve them bars and like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my baby Precious, B, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's certain individuals that, you know what I'm saying? They had kids at early ages too. They was old. Hold on, it's a big ass B right here. I'm gonna kill this bitch on this the table. Is <laughs> Fuck that. Hey, sis. Oh my daughter. Hey, I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I ain't editing this shit out either. I'ma let them know. I'm allergic to them bitches. Fuck no. Hell no. Tell you like, get the life under control. I don't want you to. Hell no. <laughs> that bitch was crawling slowly to me, sis. Like that bitch finna eat me. Bitch, wrong nigga. Um, <laughs> Hell no. Not today. The devil is Hell the devil no. Today. Fuck no. that. That bitch was big as fuck. <laughs> That bitch was big as a chicken nugget. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? You got me fucked up. <laughs> Nigga, I can't breathe. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was coming. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to be hot, nigga. Hold on. I'm still in that bitch. Let me hold on. That bitch dead. I'm still in it. Bitch, stay dead, bitch. Bitch die, bitch. You thought. You better stay dead. You thought poker, nigga, bitch. Never. (laughs) My motherfucking reflex is so stupid. Ain't (laughs) going. Ain't going. Oh my goodness, my cheeks hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry y'all had to see me get in the fight. I ain't violent, y'all. I'm so sorry. I ain't violent. I just had to beat that motherfucking B ass. You playing roles. Hop in the ring with the B. <laughs> you was playing roles. That's all, sis. I had to show yeah, what's up. At least you won. You won. Good you good. <laughs> I'm dead. So where do you get shown the most love? From strangers. Wow. Let, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real from people I don't know. Um, and it's sad, but it is what it's gonna be. You know, the people be in like that. That's what it takes. Cause you know, people think success is like this, and it's not. It's really like this. You know what I'm saying? Like. The people that you want there ain't going to be there. The people that you expect to be there ain't going to be there either. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the people that you least expect, I swear to God. Because you want to know it's crazy? Sis, when I started doing this shit, all the motherfuckers I wanted to support me didn't support me. It was all the motherfuckers I didn't think that would was. You know what I mean? That's how it is. Hey, it always it, it really do be like that, though. Yeah. That's that's exactly how it be. But, I mean, it be good. Because some people ain't really in your best interest. Some people come in your life for certain seasons, certain reasons. You know, and it is, that's life. You know, you just accept it and make the best of it. Like, I appreciate my new relationships I've built with some people. I came across some really great people. You know what I'm saying? And that really genuinely care about me and support what I do. Which is fine. You know, I I mean, I would love to see, like, my day ones, my people who I grew up with, share, like, anything. Because support, people think support is buying a product, buying some, or always got to be money related, and that's not the fucking case. Support either. could be a share, a like, a comment. Free, nigga. Support you could be me? answering the fucking phone when I need a bitch to cry on. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't understand that, bro, but I'm the type of bitch, I'm going to be the friend to you. I want you to be to me. A hundred percent. Zach Town Stoner. Hey, he, he said, who is that? That's that's Jay Slay Black. That's go hit Jay her up on Slay. Facebook. Hey, go Jay follow Black. her on Facebook. Yes. Add Straight up. Add yeah. Or- go add her on, on everything, man. Jay Slay Black. That's us. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Don't y'all already know. Me. All Don't love, man. Me. All love. Go follow her. Y'all know how we give it up. Yes, yes. Period. So, sis, you got a good support system behind you? I do. I do. Um, shout out to the Untouchables. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to 300. Shout out to um, Dre Banks World. Um, man, like... Shout out. 
so much stuff been happening you know like i just literally in december shot a video with trina that was crazy with um dre banks and wow since then since then nigga the connections i've been making with people have been i've shot five videos right Damn. None of them have been really like when it comes to music like they strategically drop them but this summer listen bitches is not fucking eating i'm telling you i'm i'm on a next people gonna see me in a different light that's all i'm gonna say and the music that i'm making is real genuine music um it's all from my heart um it's all like through past experience it's not all rah-rah i'm not city girl i'm not none of that i'm just me you know what i'm saying and people gonna know that just from from being around me people who know me or people will know me you know what i'm saying because i'm gonna get out there you feel me i'm gonna get it out there y'all. definitely <laughs> definitely but, listen like talk your shit i'm on a whole nother motherfucking boy game like i'm on a whole nother planet i'm on pluto right now because i've touched every bag right but a rat bag I've been in the studio for about 45 days and I've done history already. Like, for pe- and I've been rappers and people who done did shit and been in the studio for like over years. But like, I never really took it seriously. But since I'm challenging myself, I said, girl, let me see if you could do it. Let me see what you could right. do. Let me see how you sound. Let me see. Let me see. So I'm just saying right now. I'm going to throw some out there. I'm going to see if they fuck with it. They fuck with it. They do. They don't. But at the end of the day. We win. I'm just doing me. Slayway. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You bitches better love me. (laughs) Straight up. No, listen. They better fucking love me, though. If they don't, I'm going to cry. Just love me. I'm crying. (laughs) Hell no. No, I'm coming. I'm coming hard. I'm coming strong. I am. ain't going to lie. So it seems like... you don't hang with a lot of people. Why is that? Um, I mean, I've been betrayed a lot. You know, I didn't experience a lot of hurt. I don't lost a lot of friends. I don't lost a lot. And um, the only real love I want me is the unconditional love. You know, love that's that's never gonna go away. And um, you don't find that in friends all the time. So I gotta select a few that I deal with, but no, nah, I got too much family. You know what I'm saying? I got too much as it is. So it's like I don't really need friends. So I don't really want none either because they a headache. When you got friends, you got problems. Shit, I don't want y'all ass. I'm just playing, bro. You know, you my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't had it no more. You feel me? So don't add me, y'all. I ain't adding y'all back. I'm just saying, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Go saying, TV, I'm y'all here. Her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, you crazy. <laughs> All right, I quit y'all for y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna be y'all friend. I'm just playing y'all. Y'all can move around. Oh, scared. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> if you never got into doing hair, what would you you be doing right now? Um I I would still be in a medical field. I did um medical assisting. Um, I'm gonna go for my um my bachelor's in health administration. I'm currently in school, so I'm a, I'm a college girl. I'm still in school. Shout out to Beauty and brains, you know. Good shit. Don't stop, you know. I'm always trying to feed, give myself more knowledge. But um, I would be doing that. I feel like my passion, no matter what, is just to take care of people, you know, in any way I can to get just lift them up, whether to physically take care of them, help them with a bath, help them like with feed is i'm just here to help people give them a message and uh, whatever it is i know that's my purpose like i figured that out already and that's just what it was gonna be so people related 
that's my place. That's what it's that's what it is. So why everybody call you Jay Black? How'd that come about? Jay Black. Um well, my real name is Jasmine, first of all. Okay. So um I hate my name because it's so basic and lame. <laughs> I hate Jasmine. Your name's so pretty. No nigga. My name should have been like some crazy unique ass shit that people can't even pronounce, nigga. Like that's what my shit should have been. You know what I'm saying? But um, um my last name is Black. Like really, that's my last name. It's black. It ain't no fake last name. My name, that's my name. So what's up? This J Black and um I go by Slay only because that's all I think about. You know what I'm saying? Is a slay, a beauty, activating a woman's beauty, you know what I'm saying? Despite what they going through, I don't care. I just want you to feel beautiful. So that's where it came from. J Slay. Black. Period. <laughs> Straight up. Talk about the first time you got paid for doing hair. Were you confident and how did it turn out? Um the first time I got paid doing hair, I um used to go on the church bus on Sundays, right? Um, it was the first Baptist church in Bridgeport in Sacramento. I used to go on that bus. Everybody and their grandma went to that church, nigga. I went on that bus all okay. with all my little brothers. <laughs> Listen, you used to smack. Listen, listen. I'm dead. Everybody got put on the church bus. So swear. Um, one of the pastors was really cool. My grandma, cause you know she sold tamales to the church to the surf. You know what I'm saying? All of that. So that's how she got her money. And after that, I used to um be in a choir. I used to be in a choir at church, and they used to always see my braids. And one of the ladies, she had alopecia, and um she asked me if I could crochet. And I didn't know how to crochet. I never knew how to do that. But she was like, well, all you do is braid it. And you just use this hook and you crochet the hair in until it makes it full. And she told me, I'll give you I'll give you $10. So I was like, okay, $10 was a lot. You know what I'm saying? At that time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, she like, I need this done every two weeks. Bro, every two weeks you finna give me $10 to do this and it's fun. Bro, I'm doing yeah. it, bro. What did you yeah, talk about? And I want to learn how to do everything else. Cause she was then she was like um inspiring me to like do other stuff. Well, I don't want cro crochets this time. I started doing wigs and doing all this other stuff and then braiding and you know now I'm in school. I'm playing basketball. We we like to do the designs and the zigzag braids and I'm learning how to part different. I'm learning how to do this and that. And it's just like, man, it's starting to be fun. Everybody Hell calling yeah. me. Everybody asking me. Nigga, I'm on this lunchtime on the bleachers, nigga, at South, and I'm braiding. Nigga, I, I don't even care about lunchtime no more. I'm making money, nigga. What? Straight up. Quit playing with me. Like, at this point, it's over with. It's over with. I, I got it. I got the gifts. You know what I'm saying? It's in, it's in my hand. So it's just like I turned into this visual learner. Like, everything I look at, I feel like I could do it. And then 3Ds come out and all these different braids with the, the little east side ponytails and all, all the extra shit start coming out. I just like, yeah, <laughs> I want to do that. I'm doing that. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, it just get better with time. Now everybody wearing wigs. Now everybody want inches and everybody doing this and everybody. It's just the trend. But I want, I ball on a budget, first of all. I'm not in the in the lines when the Jordans come out. I don't got to have $500 hair. I bought on a fucking budget because I'm a mom, right? I'm a mom, right? But it's okay. And that's okay. People just feel like they just got to have all the... Nigga, when I did the video with Trina, let me tell you how I felt, right? Everybody in the room looking like $50,000 or more, right? Or more. Facts. No bullshit, right? Here I am with this custom one of one. My outfit probably less than two hundred dollars. My hair less than two hundred dollars. But everybody was fucking with me. Cause you want to know why? Everybody fucking. You want to know why? Hmm. I'm gonna tell you why. It ain't about what you wear. You you exactly. walked in that bitch. Listen, you walked in that bitch like like you had on that fifty thousand dollar outfit. You hear me? Easy. Easy. You know what I mean? They 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 had they had liked that they saw that so you know what I mean they had took a liking to that you know what I mean and that's why I be trying to tell people like that don't that ain't everything 
the bag don't even be everything, bro. It be the energy that you give and the communicate. Cause listen, talking to you, talking to me, I could be one conversation away to talking to Oprah, right? Cause it's it's who you know, right? It don't be what you what you have or what you can do and none of that. It be that energy that you bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? If somebody see you can bring that energy to the table one way. Man, I, I want I want her energy around me all the time. Who is she? Who is this girl? You know what I'm saying? I, I need some of that fuel, and that's the that's the light I want to bring everywhere I go. I want to light up the world. That's real. Literally, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do that one bag at a time, one conversation at a time. So it was meant for you to do this with me. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody listening, somebody ain't know that. You know what I'm saying? They think, like I said, people just think, oh, she travel, she doing this, but it's risk that I take. Some some days I had to think about, damn, gas or food. You know All what right. I'm saying? People don't know that. And they just think shit just be easy, but no, nah, man. They only see time. what's on the internet. They, right. don't, they don't know how you living. Take your time. You know what I'm saying? And don't quit. Just don't quit. That's all I can say. A thousand. Okay. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, what could we expect this year from Jay Slave Black? Talk your shit, man. Talk your motherfucking shit. Talk, shit. talk your hold shit. On, hold on, baby. You told you yes. Hold on, hold on a sec. Listen, what the fuck? Oh, the number one thing I want people to just pay attention to, just watch my mood. Watch my mood, because I'm I'm finna give it to y'all beyond what y'all expect. You know, I'm I'm never what you think. You're never gonna figure me out, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a, I'm gonna kill them with kindness all 2021, right? All 2021, and it's gonna be the slickest way. I just go by stack, stack, pray, slay. Straight up, all 2021, and it's up. It's just up, man. I'm. I'm focused. And when I'm focused on something, bro, I'm not letting up until I see it. And I want a rat bag. I want a rat bag. That's the only bag I've never touched. Straight I up. Touched, I touched the bag all the wrong ways. You feel me? And I want a <laughs> rat bag off my own experiences. Off my own. I just want somebody to hear what I'm saying one time. You know what I'm saying? And I know how powerful my words is, nigga. I, I used to post motivational quotes on Facebook and people used to inbox me like man like i almost committed suicide and reading your post changed my day and i'm like what the fuck wow. <laughs> like what the fuck like huh <laughs> like like so you man like i knew never you know, know who watching you i had some type of power you know what i'm saying like i got five thousand friends on facebook yo listen i have a fake birthday don't tell no listen i was having fake birthdays on everything let me tell you nigga and nigga it was working when I say it was working, I can like I can post four fake birthdays a year, nigga. And every time I'm getting love, all four times, nigga. I swear <laughs> on everything. I, I'm not even playing, like. But it's. Just, no, I believe you. That's crazy. It's crazy, right? <laughs> it's just I don't know. I can't explain you, but. That's wild. It's a natural high that I don't want to come down from, and I appreciate it. I appreciate who rocking with me. I appreciate who ain't. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate it all because it's all, Definitely. Um, you know what I'm it's saying? It's all that come with it. It's all that come Facts. with it. You hear me? Facts. It's going to be love and hate. Facts. Facts. For the, for the people that's watching, how, how can they go follow you? Man, follow me. Listen, Facebook. Yeah. Slay back. They say black. The black goat. IG. J underscore Slay 1212. Listen. Twitter me, tweet me, all of that shit. Listen, J underscore Slay, twelve twelve. Listen, in your nigga DMs, look in your nigga inbox. He about wrote me. Listen, he probably did. I don't got. <laughs> I'm crying. You know I gotta talk my luggage and all this and Talk your shit. I don't care. Be bitches on here. They be, they be out to get me. But listen, um, find me, y'all. If y'all lost, follow me. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can steer y'all the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Look up to you. you might learn something from me. You know what I'm saying? I can teach y'all a thing or two. But if not, you know what I'm saying? I'm coachable and teachable too. Show me some things, bitch. Show me some shit. I'm I'm coachable. I'm teachable. It's it's never, you know what I'm saying? Not enough room to grow. I, I always want to grow. I always want to level up. And it's, it's always a better bitch. You feel me? I'm not the best bitch. 
it's always a better bitch. And okay, shit, bitch, teach me how to be better. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Period. <laughs> so shit. I'm all about women empowerment, man. I'm I'm all about all of that good shit. So me shit. too, straight up. I'm all about togetherness and motherfucking seeing the next person shine. You hear me? Period. That's what it's all up. about. It's all about showing love, man. That's what hey. hey. That's what the fuck we do on this bitch. Do me a favor. Shout out Meets the Go TV. And Meets, hey, shout out to my nigga Meets the Go TV. Having your baby Jay Slay. Listen, we done did that. Ran it up on the interviews. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know where to find hey. it. Y'all know where to One on one. Listen. One on one. Hey, we got one FOMO. One. You hear me? Hey, just let, let me know when you're ready for the second one. That's Let's all. Go. <laughs> yes, the bag gonna be bigger next time. It's <laughs> like that. It's like that. It get like that. You hear me? Period. Shout out, sis. Hey, man, we appreciate all your motherfucking time, sis. Period. Hey, real shit. Hey, yeah, heart to heart, yeah, yeah. sister, brother, man. You, nigga. Next time it ain't going to be free, nigga. So, um, yeah, wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> Pay per view. Who's watching? Okay, I'm falling I'm off the chair and shit. Yet. Hey, I'm sending y'all my cash app right after this live, nigga. Fuck is y'all talking about? Listen, <laughs> next time, shit, we probably have to pay each other. We both gonna be at the top, shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna send you my cash app right, like, right after this live, yep. A thousand. <laughs> Love, man. <laughs> Love, sis. All right. What thousand? Shout out to you. One love, sis. Yes. yes. You said yes, what? Sir. I said one love. One love. Let's go. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, little mama. Shout out to you, too. That's my girl. That's my word. Yeah.